down this drawing on the, the stairwell that I look where I shouldn't have looked. We are in the John Rylands Library, right in the middle of Deansgate, in the middle of Manchester, for a lovely cultural visit. They've got an absolutely fabulous, I can't remember what it's called, um, Women Who Shape Manchester. So we've got a really, really fantastic, like, feminine, feminine vibe going on, so you'll see a lot of that. Gate in Manchester postcode M33EH. Um, the nearest car park is King Road West Car Park, but there is a height limit, so if you've got a big car, you have to go a bit further down, but it's not a problem. But it's free entry. There's museum, library, um, art gallery, exhibitions, all sorts. Really recommended, so we thought we'd make it a stop while we're here. There's nothing more that I love than old books. I think we are looking in like a, a foreign section because we've got, um, what's that? Chronique de Hainau, volume one, Paris 1551. So chronicles of Hainau dating back hundreds of years. History of the Turks. Albania. Absolutely stunning. And if you're going to do anything when you're up here, architecture, gothic art. Silent. This is actually a, a living, working library. We've got level three, which is the main like sightseeing bit. Level four is for like readers, services, and things. So you can go up there, but this is more for your tourism type area. Um, and it says, please do not handle the books, obviously, because there are natural acidic oils in your hands, which is why you see wearing gloves all of the time, it degrades the books, reduces their lifespan. So turn the pages of items from our collection. So here is an example of one of the books from the collections where it gets, lets you, uh, you are able to a memorial of the inauguration of the John Rylands Library, 1889. And it's all technological and you get, you can flip the pages. So this is where you get to read the books without actually manhandling the books. And you just read and you flick the pages. It says here, believe it or not, they have 1.4 million items in their digital directory. So feel free, come and read. That's probably not all the books they've got here, neither. These are a selection from our exhibition of women who shape Manchester. Uh, the exhibition is back on level one. We've we'll, we'll, we'll started at the top and we're working our way down. Um, and it was actually, oh, there's one person who didn't follow the no rule. But, uh, Your dad? Yeah, of my father. Typical. Um, it was actually founded by Enriqueta Rylands. She's the founder of the library. Go women. It says here that even back in 1880, 1899, um, her main idea was to try and preserve the items in here. So even back then, the 
had a state-of-the-art electric and gas air filtering system which protect their entire collection from what they, and I quote, a grimy Mancunian air outside. Not my words, theirs. So any Mancunians out there, no offence, I'm reading what it says on Have a look around and you see these chaps and chapettes all around the walls. They are statues of famous authors and their names are in plaques underneath. So here we are. Dear old Will Shakespeare himself. And there'll be more as we go around. I'll try and take some stairs. And you notice up there Daddy told me that's where all the people like authors study and write their books and that. See, I didn't know that. I don't know anything. That's what those level, that's what level four. probably tell her. I'm in love with old books. Any day. Isn't it beautiful? What do you think that? Oh. Dream. Dream. Even if I can't afford to have any of those books, maybe like wallpaper. <laughs> that looks like it would be absolutely beautiful.